now we will define a subgroup let G with this operation be a group. So we have a group, a subset H of G is a subgroup A subset H of G is a subgroup if H0 is also a group. If H0 is also a group, then we have, we call it a subgroup. It should be a subset and under the same composition, it should also be a group. Okay. <clears throat> Can we have a subgroup for a cyclic group? Can a cyclic group have a subgroup <coughs> if you take any subset of a cyclic group what happens cyclic group by definition you start from b, b square, b cube, go up to b power n, then only you will get identity. If you take a subset, then you will not get identity. That is one thing. Or if you include identity and take a subset, it will not be closed. So a cyclic group will have no subgroups. Except identity alone is a subgroup and the full group is a subgroup because full set can be a subset also. Identity is a subset. These are called trivial subgroups. Okay? So, <coughs> only trivial subgroups. <coughs> yeah? So, to do that, we have discussed first lecture 1 minus 1 i minus i. Yeah. This is a cyclic group with a generator i. Yeah. Then it has a subgroup 1 minus 1. Yeah. Okay, so let us look at that. Okay, this is a good question. I think it's... So the question is, we have this, we discussed about this group. I, I square, which is equal to minus 1, and I cube, which is equal to minus I, and I power 4, which is equal to 1. And now if you take, if you take i, okay, so if you take uh, minus, i power 4 and i square. i square, if you take, this is a subgroup. So that is equal to? 1 minus 1 okay okay i think i i think i cannot make this statement here let us keep this question i think this example is 
uh, a counter example for whatever I have written. Actually, G is complex multiplication. Yeah? No, it's a multiplication is, see, you can treat this also as a complex number and then multiply, so that's not a problem. But uh, <coughs> I think uh, before we go, I have to, of course, introduce, let me come back to this problem. So it is not true that, um, as this example uh, tells us, that it's not true that all cyclic groups will have only trivial subgroups. There will be some non-trivial subgroups. But only trivial subgroups will be there for certain cyclic groups. We will understand what are those uh, cyclic groups for which only trivial subgroups will be there. For that, let me introduce a couple of more concepts and then we will discuss this. Okay. Now, let me say that, so for example, so one example is this. Okay, so let us come back to this question a little later. So example, G is 1 minus 1 I minus I. Then you have a H which is equal to 1 minus 1. So H is a subgroup of G. H is a subgroup of G. Now let us define what is called left coset of H. H is a subgroup of G. Okay. Take an element A in G but not in H. Take an element A in G but not in H. And then AH is equal to A into elements of H is called the left coset of H. Okay. So, in this particular example, what is left coset of, suppose consider let i belongs to G but does not belong to H. Okay. So, what is i H? The left coset of this H is i times 1, i times minus 1. So, this is equal to i minus i. I can define a left coset with another element which is in G but not in H that is minus i. So, if I write minus i into H that becomes minus i i. So, these two are not different. They are same as a set. Okay. So, they are e equal they are set equal. As a sets, they are same sets. So, this left coset is not different from this left coset. Okay? So, this is left coset. Now, right coset right coset is simply defined that for some A in G minus H H into A, which is equal to H A such that H in H is called the right coset.
That means here I have multiplied this from the left, there I have to multiply from the right. Now these two cosides need not be in general same. Okay. But in this particular example, they are same because this is an abelian group. So multiplying from the left is same as multiplying from the right. So for an abelian group, this is left coset and right coset will be same. But in general, they need not be same. Now there is, is coset a group? Is the coset of a subgroup itself a subgroup? No, because there is no identity in general. So coset is not a subgroup, but it's a set. Okay. <clears throat> the theorem states that order of the group divides the order of the group. Okay, the theorem says that order of the group divided by order of the subgroup should be an integer. Order of the group should be divisible by order of the subgroup. How do we understand this? That is, order of the group should be divisible by order of the subgroup. How do we prove this? Proof is very simple. Supposing I have a group. A group can be written as a subgroup. Okay, a subgroup and sum of cosets. Suppose I have some elements A which are not G in H. I can make a coset out of that. Then remaining elements I will get as a coset. Then one more element. So I can write down this as some A1 times H, call it as G1 times H, comma G2 times H, etc. Some GM times H. Left cosets or right cosets? Okay. Now, what does it mean if order of H is equal to some K, this will be M times K. Correct? So, if order of H is equal to some K, then order of G is equal to M times K. Or order of G divided by order of H is equal to M. How many elements will give distinct cosets? Okay. How many elements will give distinct cosets? So, in this particular example, what is the, how many number of cosets are there? Here, we can write G as H I times H. Minus I times H also give the same thing. Okay, H and I times H. So, I have 2. Total is 4. So, 4 is divisible by 2. Okay. So, order of the group divides, order of the group is divisible by order of the subgroup. This is called the Lagrange's theorem. So, whole group can be divided into subgroup and its cosets. Now, if you consider, consider a group G such that order of the group 
is equal to p a prime number let us say consider a group whose order of the group is p and p is a prime number what can we say about this group What can we say about this group? What is the property of a prime number? It is not divisible by any other integer other than 1 and p. That means it cannot have subgroups. It cannot have subgroups of in if it cannot have subgroups, what does it mean? It means it has to be that means what if you have more than one generator then you can have subgroups more than one generator you can have subgroups it is a cyclic group. So, all groups whose order of the group is a prime number are cyclic groups it cannot have any subgroups it can have only trivial subgroups. So, G has to be 